Welcome to Members Only, a show featuring CMAC members and the projects they produce. My name is Charlie Javang, and I'll be your host for today. In today's edition of Members Only, we'll be talking to Harry Fletcher, the producer of Not By Bread Alone, and Devin Navarez, the producer of Pole and Scrub. First up is Harry Fletcher, the producer of the Not By Bread Alone. Let's, check, uh, let's take a look at the clip. All right, guys, so welcome back. Uh, it's me, Charlie, and we have Harry Fletcher here now. All right, so Harry, thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah, absolutely. Man, so that video that we just played right now, um, I, it, it looked great. The, the quality was amazing. Uh, I like the part where, you know, you were cutting the bread. Man, that shot was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, supposed to be a teaser. You know, everybody <laughs> likes bread, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Great. So, um, you know, if I didn't know any better, um, I would think that it would, you know, not by bread alone is kind of like a cooking show, but um, to my understanding, it's not. Could you could you tell us a little more about what you show us? Right, actually, it's a it's like a Bible study. Uh, oh, okay. Started with a, a Tuesday night study, uh, and uh, about the same time, I had started becoming interested in in CMAC. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we're in the the old Fresno Met building. And I was uh, wondering whatever happened to the Fresno Met building and, and uh, started doing some investigating and found out that what CMAC does and uh, that you actually offer classes that you can learn how to produce mm -hmm. uh, programs, and, uh, which is a wonderful thing. I mean, you're, Absolutely. you're able to, it, everything is free. You can use the equipment once you've learned how to use it. Uh, produce programs for one minute, uh, whoever, however long you want to do it. Mm -hmm. And so it was... Uh, a great opportunity that uh, I thought, well, maybe we could just put the two together, you know, do the, the study, produce a program, and uh, see what happens. Wow. That's, that's truly innovative, you know. Um, uh, it, I'm glad that you were able to, um, you know, utilize our CMAC resources to do that, you know. Oftentimes, members come and they take a lot of the classes, not sure of what they want to do. And I can see that it really worked out for you. You were able to put, um, you know, CMAC and learning and the things that you like and that you're learning, like to learn. And then you do the Bible study, the things that you love to do, and you put those together and you come up with something amazing. That's, that's, wow, that's amazing. You yeah. Know? You know, it's, and it's a great, it's a great time to live because, mm -hmm. um, as we were talking about before, I can remember when uh, there were just three television stations, three channels, and that was it. I mean, oh, you yeah. go through all three of them, you didn't like anything, you were kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the day and age that we live in today, where we are able to, uh, I mean, there's, there's a bunch of cable channels out there, and, and um, an organization like CMAC uh, just uh, enables you to do something that was not possible even maybe 20 years ago. Yeah, uh, I, you know, I, I definitely agree with uh, the technology and resources that we have here at CMAC. Um, but, uh, you, know, you know, coming across with, like, your content, your, uh, your actual show, you know, um, what is it that made you, what is it that inspired you to make your show? Well, it, uh, if you have a passion for a message, uh, you can't help but want to share it. Mm. And uh, that's, uh, that's basically uh, what it is. You, you, you look at different ways, different methods, different media. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I mentioned, CMAC was, the opportunity was there. And so you just reach out and you take it. You know, you wow. put one, st one foot in front of the other and uh, there's a kind of a learning curve to it, but if, uh, if, you, if you take the time, you know, to, to attend uh, the classes that you offer, mm -hmm. 
uh, everybody is, is so helpful here and they show you how to, to, uh, to put the different things together. And um, hey, if I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> That's great. That's amazing. You know, I, I love the fact that you lead by example with that, Harry. And I think, you know, uh, especially with being on the show, us highlighting your content, it's, it's really good because not only are you leading by example, but you're able to really show, hey, you know what, I am very passionate about this and I'm going to utilize our, our media resources to be able to do that, you know. Um, so I, I, I want to I dig just a little bit deeper with... Um, you know, on the, the production side. Um, can you talk a little bit more about, like, you know, maybe a little bit on your pre-production, your production, your post-production for your project? You mean kind of the steps that we go through to, to put it together? Yes. Well, uh, what, what you uh, have to do is, of course, you have to take the classes and learn how to, it's, it's, it, this is cutting edge equipment. <laughs> and so yes. you want to make sure you know how to use it. I'm mm -hmm. sure that CMAC wants to make sure that everybody knows <laughs> how to use it. Yes, we do. And, <laughs> uh, and to be responsible with it. And then, uh, so you, uh, you put together a, a program proposal and uh, you send it in and give them an idea of what the program is, is going to be about and, um, you know, uh, how long you think it might be. And, and then after it's been approved, you, you check out the equipment, mm -hmm. you um, set up a date for the production uh, recording. You do, the, uh, you do the recording, you check the equipment back in, and then you start into editing. Mm. And uh, I use um, Adobe Premiere Pro, okay. which, but I think there's, another, there's other programs that you have available. Oh, yeah, we do. YouTube, we have yeah. uh, Final Cut. We have um, uh, not Windows Movie Maker, but uh, iMovie. Right. Uh, th those are typically the three that we have for um, the software. Usually everybody, um, for the most part, uses Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, it's kind of standard, but uh, Final Cut's pretty good too. Yeah, I, someday I'd like to try that. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I I've been a Windows user my uh, all my computer life, mm -hmm. and and uh, just learning how to use a Mac was really uh, <laughs> it was. So anyway, uh, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. With that, you you learn how to uh, put together a, a you know a package to start out the program, which mm -hmm. gives you a little introduction, and then there's the the program content, and then the credits at the end. Right, right. Uh, it's not it's not that difficult once you have done done it once. Mm. In fact, it was recommended that uh, you start off with a very short program, and then you kind of work into into longer ones if you if you like. Right. But the important thing is to just stay with it. Stay with it. You know, it. again, if you have a passion for whatever it is you're doing, uh, you know, there's just uh, there's there's going to be times where it just kind of waxes and wanes. Mm -hmm. But you you stay with it, and once you get that first program in, and it uh, actually shows, uh -huh. I think you're hooked. Oh yeah, that's. <laughs> That's great. That's really good. And so uh, I remember you were saying, you know, for uh, for yourself to put one foot forward and then the next and then just keep going uh, along with that. I mean, can you share with me or share with us um, what some of the struggles and challenges that you faced? Well, you know, I'm a I'm a perfectionist mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I could do things a dozen different ways and <laughs> still not be happy with it. But right, right. But the, the important thing is that you, uh, at, that at that time, you have to stand back, take a look at it, you know, maybe say, hey, I'm going to give it a couple of days here. And, mm -hmm. uh, and then, uh, but it's getting the program in. Right, and, right. and so sometimes you have to cut back on what you'd like to do. But uh, like I said, once you get the program in, and, uh, and it doesn't have to be something that's perfect. Right, right. It doesn't have to be something that's going to show on national TV. It's just something that you want to... Uh, uh, you know, give it a try. Uh, people are, are, you feel, are, again, are going to be uh, blessed by what you have to say and then uh, Absolutely. move on to the next program. Absolutely. Now, with the next program, I have my next question. Um, so when are you planning to do your next show and how often are you planning to do it? Well, I'm working on the, the fourth one. Uh, actually, I'm going to turn something in today. For oh, nice. It, right? Great. But, but the hope is to eventually do a weekly program. Nice. Uh, maybe uh, starting off with a half hour, moving mm -hmm. to an hour if possible. Oh, that's really, really good. Yeah. You know? Um, I know that we have a few really, really good shows right now that we have, um, you know, that are produced weekly or bi-weekly. And the, show, the content is good and the consistency is really good. Some of these longtime members um, have produced, you know, so many hours of content for us, 
And it's truly amazing what they are able to do, you know? Yeah. And with that, I, one thing that I've seen for sure with each of those producers is that they have a very, very solid um, crew. Uh, they have like, they have not only does the producer and the crew have trust in, in each other with the shots and, and being on time and, and just the work ethic, but they love doing it. The yeah. producer is, in a sense, like, you know, you as a producer, you're really a leader, you know? And you can use your leader ability to inspire, you know, people to want to be crew for you, want to volunteer right. and be like, hey, you know what? Um, I would love for you to be a part of my crew, not just to shoot and get experience, but to actually, to actually spread this message. Because through the show, we're able to do greater good than just, it's not just a show it's we are sharing our message and, yeah you know you know and, and it's definitely teamwork you know you can't uh, if you're going to go out there and try to do it yourself uh it's going to be hard <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> you know but definitely. you can't you can encourage one another and um there's actually several of us that are that are teaching the study mm -hmm. and uh we had uh, two other guys that came in with me to to learn some of the um uh, one guy did learn to do editing another one uh, learn to do the camera, and uh, we hope to eventually bring in more, more people to uh, improve the quality of the program. Absolutely, great, you know, and uh, th th it's it's really good that you're doing that, Harry, because we do want a lot more people. We do want a lot more members, and we definitely want to have more of your shows. So thank you very much, Harry. You know, thank you. Um, so that's gonna wrap it up with Harry Fletcher. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to be joined by Devin Navarez, the producer of Pull and Scrub. We'll be right back. guys so welcome back to members only joining us now is Devin Navarez the producer of pole and scrub let's check out the clip Jill Are you all right? Of course I am. How could I not be? It's just me against the world after all. That's not true. I mean, you're not the only one who- You just, just leave me alone. You spent all our time here sucking up to Carter and the others and you choose now to come swooping in like a hero? 
Well, you know what, Eustace? I'm not going to bother with it. All right, guys. So welcome back to Members Only. Here we are with Devin. And um, all right. So welcome. Thanks Thank for coming. Thank you very much. I'm really excited. You're going to be smiling a lot because I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> cool. All right, yeah. Devin. So, um, so we just saw a short clip of what uh -huh. you've done. Uh -huh. And it's an, it's an awesome short film is Thank my understanding, you. right? Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Um, so, Devin, can you tell us a little bit more about your short film? Um, it's Poland Scrub is adapted from a chapter from a book called The Silver Chair by C.S. Lewis. Nice. Um, and the purpose of it was really to show exactly if I ever were to be, okay, I'm going to say the director of the upcoming film adaptation, which is kind of, ex kind of okay. why I started all this, um, mm -hmm. just to kind of show the idea of where I would take these characters who are children in mm -hmm. the books like the, we don't know the exact age but mm -hmm. um, i kind of envision them just a little bit older and kind of like on the verge of young uh, young adulthood okay um in their late teens and i kind of and i used you know we saw the clip you know older mm -hmm. actors mm -hmm. um so um yeah just it just just to give an idea of where exactly i would take these characters that's what you know the, cl the short film itself isn't definitively exactly what the film or that particular scene in that film would be like right but it's just an idea of where I would sort of take it. That's awesome. That's great. You know, yeah. uh, I know that with our CMAC content, I would love to see more short films. Mm. I'd love to see a feature mm. film. I'd I love know. to see yeah. all these, thi all these uh, yeah. things, you know? Uh -huh. um, but one thing for sure is we got to start somewhere. Yeah. And with the short films, it's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that we have a short, our class short film boot camp. Mm -hmm. Did you take that by any chance? I did. I wanted to, and I uh -huh. didn't, I think, I don't know if I was, available for the, the day it was happening i don't know i don't really remember but it seemed interesting you know what it really it really is interesting mm -hmm. you know yeah and well, i, I, I is, know yeah, yeah definitely yeah. um especially with this is i'm going to advertise a short film boot camp right now but uh <laughs> you know every every once in a blue moon like you know every mm -hmm. four months or so uh, -huh. uh sometimes we have a special class yeah held by kyle and lisa mm -hmm. uh, like short film boot camp and it's an awesome class yeah. uh if you guys want if you uh, would like <laughs> and and any other members mm. would like to have the short film uh, short film boot camp. Yeah, you guys can. Um, mm -hmm. If you guys you know email Kyle. Yeah. At so it's gonna be Kyle at cmac.tv mm -hmm. or Lisa at cmac.tv. Um, if we get enough of you guys that are confirmed, hey, you know, I wanna I wanna have a short film boot camp. I wanna like do short films. Mm -hmm. If we can if we can get enough of you guys like maybe like ten or mm -hmm. so of you guys. Mm -hmm. to like sign up for that class mm -hmm. kyle will make that class just to teach you guys yes. kyle's a great guy yeah. you know he, yeah. he's a he's a great trainer mm -hmm. and um i should be calling this training instead of yeah. classes but yeah but yeah. um anyways about your about mm -hmm. your short film yeah um tell me a little bit more about what work you put in to do the pre-production the production mm -hmm. and the post-production well i wrote the script number one um, the, the two actors that you saw, that you saw in the clip, um, actually were my classmates in the class I, th I took at, um, Fresno City College. Cool. Um, and they're really, they're really, you know, they're really great guys. They're really, really fun to talk to and hang around. Mm -hmm. Um, and I kind of wanted t to take this opportunity to try and do things myself independently. I mean, of course, I mean, I got, I got help from you, which is, I mean, CMAC's very helpful. <laughs> you know, it, you, all you have to do is give them a call and they'll fix a problem. Oh yeah. yeah but definitely. like, but you know, um, yeah, that's, that's really, I wanted to get a chance, you know, to do the cinematography myself. To, mm -hmm. um, but really for me, I even scored the movie, you know, I did a little kind of, a little piece I composed, you know, on, on Logic Pro. And, oh, and nice. Yeah, I just did a little thing and put it in there. Um, but and the, the editing and the sound and I, I went out and recorded some sounds and put them and did ADR. We spent a whole we spent two days doing ADR, <laughs> you know, literally audio replacing the dialogue on everything, you oh, know, right, just to right. make sure the sound was consistent. Mm -hmm. So um, I wanted to I just wanted to take a chance at doing things independently and see where my strengths were. And um, I think, you know, a lot, a lot some people told me afterward a lot of people liked it you know mm -hmm. i have followers on twitter and things that said that they really liked it nice and some were kind of like oh the cinematography is this and it's like well i know my strong suit isn't in cinema i mean i would i would obviously get a professional cinematographer a, a professional mm -hmm. sound sound mixer and composer but um mm -hmm. really more i think lies is, is the directing and the writing part and 
everything else. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and well, one thing for sure is, I mean, um, what's the saying? Um, you know, you shouldn't be afraid of somebody that could like that. You should be more afraid of somebody that has done the same job mm -hmm. like ten thousand times. Yeah. Or I mean, it's not really afraid, but yeah. you should, you know, with someone um, who hasn't. Yeah. 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 And, and mm -hmm. especially with this being your first uh, short film, uh -huh. it's your first. Yeah, very first one I ever. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, honestly, it's it's kind of like, it, it that's just mm -hmm. how it is. You yeah. Know? Um, mm -hmm. It's it's gonna be a little rough. It's mm -hmm. gonna it, that's just experience. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So you know, yeah. if you've ever produced music, the first times that. You know, yeah. you can't just expect to be able to produce a song yeah, or yeah. like a short film yeah. that's going to look like absolutely amazing. Perfect, yeah, yeah, yeah professional. perfection. Yeah. Without having had done it like a million times. Yeah, like I, would, I wouldn't submit that, uh, submit this to a film festival or even think that, you know, because it's, it's such an experimental thing. Well, you know, I mean, I, I don't want you to feel discouraged. Either. Yeah, I mean, oh, of course not. not. No, 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 no. We, we're here to, no. we're here to, uh, you know, pick your brain yeah. a little bit on yeah. how you were able to do it. Yeah. And inspire other CMAC members right. to create yeah. stuff like this too. And you know, yeah, don't listen to that. Like if you, if you want to <laughs> submit your work to, a, you absolutely should do it. I mean, you, people, you have confidence in, in your work. Absolutely. Because I did, but I also understood from, from personally for me, for this particular work, I understood mm -hmm. exactly the quality, I guess, like what, and what, how far it was going to go. But who knows, this might, do wonders for me. Who knows? Somebody sure. might see it. You know, the whole purpose. I mean, the purpose of this is just trying to get my voice heard. You know, Mar the Mark Gordon Company is producing the film, so it's it's mm -hmm. you know just to get that voice in and just to say, hey, I, I all I want to do is talk. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you about my vision and what I want, what kind of movie I want to make. I'm mm -hmm. not expecting, you know, right away like, oh yeah, this guy looks good. Let's let's ask him if he wants to direct the movie, you know, right, right, a hundred million dollar film, budget film, oh, yeah, let's give this to this guy who never made a film. No, but I have confidence in my vision and, Absolutely, and, yeah. w and w I know, cause I know what I want to do. Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm not going to go in and be like, I don't know what to do. I'm, I know exactly what I want to make. So mm -hmm. I feel like Poland Scrub is sort of a way to get my voice out. And Absolutely. You know, especially with CMAC, with us being able yeah. to, have uh, all the resources exactly uh, yeah. And the, yeah the equipment the software yeah. the tools the yeah. facility yeah. everything yes. that we have here for you yeah cmac has been very helpful yeah yeah, and, yeah. And, um, yeah. this is what we want to do we yeah. want to be able to make it we want to be able to create an environment mm -hmm. where we can empower the voices of our yeah. community mm -hmm. to really to really really have right. a voice yeah mm -hmm. and you know you are a really really good example yeah. of that mm -hmm. um so w we already know like you know with you know, film, mm -hmm. the like video, uh, the mm -hmm. videography, mm -hmm. the equipment, yeah. the cameras, it's really, really expensive. Yeah, it is. You know, yeah. um, with the uh, 25 or $50 or 100 uh -huh. or 150 or $250 mm -hmm. memberships that we yeah. have here. Right, yeah. Um, you know, for organizations, yeah. um, it's it's really, we really make it a lot easier. Yeah, you do. You know, yeah, yeah, it seems like really the, yeah. opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, so, what's something that you would like to share with other CMAC members, like for inspiration? Um, do it. That's another thing. Like that's kind of what I realize is like, um, if you want to, a lot of people are like, well, you know, I don't, I don't have like, they want to be filmmakers. They want to go out. And they want, but they always talk about it, but they never do it. Mm, and we have right. so many, and we have so many resources now. We can even make movies on our iPhones. You know, it's it's a big, but true. especially in Fresno, or anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, if you if if you if you want, you know. Find find a camera. All you that's all you need is a camera and, and to actually just this is the, like there's no manual. A lot of people say, "Oh, I'll, I'll go to film school. I'll go to which which if that's your path, if that's where where you feel like you need to go. Then by all means, film school is not a joke, but it's not always necessary for everyone. Sometimes you just have to get up and do it. And people are like, I don't have anything. It's like no, it's as simple as make just make it. Don't worry mm -hmm. about money. Don't worry about all these things. Just make what you want to make. You know, and I think that's the best thing about CMAC mm -hmm. is that we we have we have we have all these mm -hmm. resources for you. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. way you can just yeah. do it yeah. like the way that you yeah. said it. Or you, Nike. Yeah, and you could and for very fair, reasonable price, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean like, you know, the the membership, you know, for individuals mm -hmm. are like, mm -hmm. you know, fifty dollars for an entire year. Mm -hmm. Or you can go to film school. 
yeah and then drop fifty thousand and yeah. <laughs> yeah figure out hey you know what um yeah i this isn't what i want to do yeah 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 you want to <laughs> you know? make sure you yeah you know what you want to do i mean i this is my whole life here like i i that's all i thought about i knew what i want to do when i go. oh yeah definitely so, um yeah. i saw you editing upstairs like almost like i mean as often as i came to work yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah i gotta yeah. make sure that yeah in that the editing process is so fun it is because right? when you because it's one thing to shoot but when you see it come together and it looks like i when i first started editing i was like hey this actually looks pretty good like it's yeah. a, it's an actual movie i made i made a freak you know movie man like it, and this is it's exciting yeah it is it, it's, it's definitely rewarding yeah because that's where you're gonna see a lot yeah. of mm -hmm. it coming together mm -hmm. it, it's absolutely amazing yeah. mm -hmm. well Devin, i want to thank you very much for your time thank here you. um thank it's, you very much is uh is yes. great having you yeah. uh, and thank um, you very much your, your words and yeah everything <laughs> that you're sharing thanks um is, is there anything, is there any last thing you want to say? Or you want to share um, one last thing? Yeah. Anyone at the Mark Gordon Company, if you're listening to this, if you want the Silver Chair movie to be a good movie, you better call me. You know who I am. I know you do. Because I gave you, you know my, I, I, my information is out there. I, and right. I, for the sole purpose of this. So, I'm, get, I'm, I'm doing this for the silver chair for, for Narnia, you know, for, yeah, so. Nice. Yeah, so. Nice. Um, I like your ambition. Yeah. Yeah, I like your ambition. Yeah, That's not great. for success or anything, but just, just make a good movie. <laughs> a fair movie for all the fans and everyone who loves Narnia. All right. Well, yeah. great. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. All right, guys. So that wraps it up for today's Members Only. If you'd like to see more about the shows we've been talking about today, you can look for them on CMAX channels, Xfinity 93, as well as UVerse 99. If you don't have Comcast, Xfinity, or AT&T U-verse, you can go to our website at www.cmac.tv to watch the live stream under the Watch tab. Thanks again to our guests, Harry Fletcher and Devin Navares. And thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time.